Yo, what is good, Lock em Up Nation? Coming at y'all with another banger. My last build video of the demo. Now, my other build videos, we focus on making builds that compare to NBA parts. I did Steph Curry with Lock Takeover. Imagine Curry with great defense. Check that out, it'll be on the end screen. MVP Derrick Rose, Trey Young, and Russell Westbrook. But we're not focusing on comparing to an actual NBA player. We are making a unique build. That's right, we are making a slasher. You see the title, a slasher. You get the name slasher, but you will have Hall of Fame shooting badges. Imagine that. You see someone in the park, you see slasher, you're like, oh, well, I know how he's going to play. You know, you back off him, and then he has Hall of Fame shooting. You can pull from half court, green from half court. Imagine you being able to finesse like that. I'm going to show you exactly how to make him. But first, I stream on Twitch now. Once 2K21 drops, I promise daily streams, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. So, link down below and pin comment. Make sure you hit me with a follow. Also, we are on the road to 6K, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on post on notifications so you don't miss an upload. I may be streaming on Twitch daily, but I'm still doing my thing on the tube. Now, for the build, name doesn't matter, point guard. Right hand, well, you can do left hand, that's up to you. Jersey number is obviously up to you. My favorite number is 11, so we are going to go with 11. The pie chart, we're going to go with the second pie chart, half blue, half green. Don't worry, ISO players, you're still going to be able to ISO. Anyone that played 2K20 already knows that. You're going to go with the speed one, believe it or not. But watch how we're going to finesse this still. You know, you're going to move this stuff all the way up. Post hook to 52 to get 15 finishing badges if you don't want the 15th finishing badge you know it's whatever now the shooting you're gonna keep the mid-range at 78 you're not gonna max it because you're gonna get a different name three-point shot all the way up free throw we're gonna move it down to where you can get 15 you can mess with the post if you are due to post or the free throw if that's fine sorry if you heard that text notification pass accuracy all the way up all handling all the way up Post moves just enough to get 15 playmaking badges. Interior defense. Actually, hold, hold up. I'm moving too fast. Perimeter defense all the way up. Lateral quickness all the way up. Steal all the way up. Defensive rebound all the way up. And the rest can go on interior defense. And I'll get you six defensive badges. If you're a threes player, this will work. Even if you're a twos player, if you're good enough on defense, like I was getting stops a lot with six defensive badges in 2K20. So you have no excuse. Also, the way we're going to make this build, the six defensive badges, your defense will still be fine. This is why. Check this out. Body type, it's up to you. A lot of people say Burrow gives you better animations. Might be true. Maybe it's a myth. I like going to find. We're going to keep the build at 6. Or you need this build to be 6'3 or shorter to be the most effective. Actually, wait. No, I've... No, you can make them 6'5. Never mind, never mind. For this, for this particular, you can make them 6'5. My fault, my fault. I was thinking of uh, something else. But 175 weight, wingspan all the way up. This is the most important part. You need to move your wingspan all the way up for the slasher name. So wingspan all the way up. Takeover, this is ultimately up to you. You know, play takers, you got Hall of Fame Dimer. You could potentially drop people. You know, the ankle breakers were ass and 20. But the Hall of Fame Dimer, the Platinum Dimer that you get, like it's almost impossible to not green off a of play take. So against comp, this can be really good because, you know, your defender is on his own because his guys can't help because they have a centimeter of space. Their green window is through the roof. Sharp take is godly. Lock take on this build to me is pointless. But if you want to do it, go right on ahead. But you want to get them contact dunks. And I know you saw the 81 driving dunk. So make sure you choose the slash you can take if you care about contact dunks. If not, you know, sharp play, whatever. But we're going to go with slash or take. And there you have it. You have built a slash or similar to Penny Hardaway, Jamal Murray, who has been balling in the playoffs. You know, Jazz blew a three on lead. That game seven was crazy. And Russell Westbrook. I did a Russell Westbrook build. But I feel like the Westbrook build build I may actually compares to Westbrook realistically because, you know, Hall of Fame shooting badges for Westbrook? Ah, I don't know about that one. 
but don't go anywhere. We gotta get into the badges. All right, finishing. I feel like contact finisher, if you're gonna go for contacts, contact finisher on Hall of Fame is a must. Honestly, the rest of this is honestly up to you, you know, consistent finisher, you know, open layups to be missing, you know, so consistent finisher, I feel like is one of the best finishing badges in the game. Uh, the rest of these, like I said, it's pretty much up to you. I do like Giant Slayer, and this does help with contact dunks. We don't know how good hop steps are going to be, so I don't know how much I'll trust Fancy Footwork and Slithery Finisher. I don't know if you're going to catch Lobs. Who knows if Lobs going to be the metal for rep again. Like, we don't know how rep system's going to be. You know, there's Acrobat. Honestly, I'm probably going to go with Slithery Finisher, because it's not just for hop steps. It is for avoiding contact, and the more you can avoid contact, the better. Shooting badges. You know, you gotta go with Range Extender Hall of Fame. Look at that, you are a slasher with Hall of Fame Range Extender. That is just insane. Uh, Hot Zone Hunter, Hall of Fame. Dead Eye, Hall of Fame. The last three is honestly up to you. Like, these are the major badges. These are the ones you need Hall of Fame. The rest of this, you can do whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna go Clutch Shooter Bronze and Difficult Shot Silver because I do like the feed, I'm not going to lie. Playmaking, we're going to go quick first step on Gold Handles for Days for Gold, you know. Salmon is a joke, you got to have that Gold Handles for Days. The rest of this is kind of up to you, it depends on how you play. You got to have Bailout on Bronze, uh, tight, my fault. tight Handles on Gold, on Pluckable, on Silver. And either Ankle Breaker or Space Creator. I think Space Creator is better. So Space Creator on Gold. Defensive badges, Clamps on Gold or Silver. Either one. I'm going to do Gold for now. And the rest, you can do Rim Protector. You can do Pogo Stick. You can do Intimidator. Chase Down. It's up to you. But I'm going to go Intimidator Bronze and Rim Protector Silver. So, there you have it, man. Slasher with Hall of Fame shooting badges. You know, hit Y in this menu to choose your jump shot. You know, Dwayne Wade is the best jump shot. You already know the vibes. But, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Here are some videos on the end screen. Make sure you click one of those videos. I'll see you there, or I'll see you on the next one. But, until next time, I am out. Peace!